All right, as we come to the end of another autumn afternoon, let's get back out to Pete with a check on the weather. Chris, did you feel that little cool front move through late last night? Could you feel it this morning? Cool front? <laughs> I'm serious. Wait, wait until you see this massive, this monstrosity of a cool down that I have in my forecast tomorrow. I mean, you know, 90s over the weekend, upper 80s after the cold front. I mean, that's it. It's a Texas cold front. 88 in Denton right now. We have blue skies there. The high today was 88. The morning low, 69. Both of those are above the normals of 82 and 61. Outside right now, it's 88. We have a north wind. A north wind behind that cold front. A north wind at 9 miles an hour. Pollen today, ragweed is high. Elm is moderate and fungus today. That's on the low side of the scale. Okay, I want to show you this. Uh, all quiet here across our part of the state and really across this whole midsection of the country right now. All the rain is falling. This is in advance of uh, Hurricane Milton. So a lot of rain right now falling across the state of Florida. You know, I talked about Helene and how we had, you know, before Helene ever made landfall here in the Big Bend of Florida, there was a cold front that stalled across this part of the country, across the Appalachians that dumped, you know, six to 10 inches of rain, six to 12 inches of rain in a number of spots. That was a predecessor event because by the time uh, Helene moved into uh, the Carolinas, everything was, the ground was saturated, the streams, the creeks, the rivers, they were running full. In Florida, we have a lot of rain that's falling right now. I sure hope that we don't have that six to 12 in Florida that they had up in the Carolinas. So we'll have to watch this, but already, uh, uh, already looking at a lot of rain. And through this weekend, that's where all the rain falls zero here for us. I have no rain in my forecast in, in North Texas as we head through the next 14 days. A little bit of a cool down today, 88, tomorrow 86, and then we ramp right back up into the upper 80s Wednesday, Thursday, and then in the 90s as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So a little cooler the next couple of days, but it's still warmer than normal as we look at those uh, the temperatures uh, right through the weekend. Right now, here is Milton. Very powerful storm, a category five. It moves across the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Landfall is late, late Wednesday night in the Tampa area. A weak uh, category four, a strong category three. Winds of 125, maybe up to 135 with this system as it makes landfall. Right now, the projections do take it into west central Florida. And then across the peninsula, dumping a lot of rain with a massive storm surge. They had a storm surge in the Tampa area of around six feet. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago with Helene, and now they're looking at a storm surge that could be double, maybe even triple that. Once it moves uh, off the peninsula, it's no longer a threat to the United States. It fizzles out in the Atlantic. Hurricane warnings in effect for a big part of the state. There's that storm surge, 10 to 15 feet. Some areas will see more than that. Uh, lower surge to the north and a little bit lower surge down there in far southwest Florida. And as you look into these areas a little closer, I mean, you're looking at nine feet or higher. Here's the Tampa Bay area. Then you head down to the south of Tampa Bay. You get down around Fort Myers and you can kind of match the colors here on the screen. Nine, 10 feet. I mean, it is going to be really bad in the state of Florida. And then rainfall, six to eight inches. Some places could see one to two feet of rain. Not here in Texas. It is dry tonight. It's clear, 63, cooler tonight because of that morning late night cold front. 63 is the low tonight during the day tomorrow. We hit 86 dry, a little on the warm side for this time of year, but not too bad. Uh, not very humid tomorrow. 86 is the high tomorrow. There's the next 14 days. Uh, the first seven of the 14, it's more of the same. Texas OU this weekend should be nice weather for that. A little on the warm side. And there's the final seven of the 14 days. At least we drop into the 80s. 